So, you ready? Let's give it a go. All right, here goes. <laughs> okay, so uh, maybe the uh, current brain machine interfaces aren't quite ready for the public uh, yet. Uh, pretty nice fashion statement, though. So these new interfaces are something that's already happening around us. It can be everything that's a novelty, like the brain wave reading cat ears, to really important work that's being done now to help people that have lost control of their body through either injury, mm -hmm to regain some of those capabilities through these BMI interfaces. Right, for, we've been thinking about brain-machine interfaces for a long time, and what we're trying to get to is to offload or outsource our cognition. And we're also trying to gain intellect by hooking up to the internet and having instantaneous access to this vast world of knowledge. Yeah, and there's many people that think that both this creates new opportunities for us to solve some of the biggest problems that we're faced with moving forward. And some folks, like Elon Musk, thinks it's necessary for us to continue because they're worried about an artificial intelligence explosion. Right, so this singularity, some people are saying it's gonna happen within the next 12 years. So instead of letting AI just zoom beyond human intellect, why don't we just hitch a ride on this roller coaster that's going to be artificial intelligence? Yeah, and it's not just companies like the new one that Musk has founded, but many companies. Facebook is working on these brain machine interfaces as a whole new way for us to connect and communicate beyond language, bringing down barriers and maybe bringing us closer together moving forward.